Last week on the Cow-Calf Corner, we visited with you about a method of changing the feeding time uh, during the calving season in order to encourage more cows and heifers to have the calves during daylight hours. Well, uh, as you remember that discussion, there was still 15 to 20 percent of the, the cattle that were going to calve in the middle of the night, in the middle of the winter. As we go through this calving season, it's inevitable that we'll have one or two of those calves that was born on a really, really cold, wintry night, and we may not find him until the, the next morning. And then we've got a calf that is pretty severely cold stressed, or the big word is hypothermic. Several years ago, a rancher from eastern Oklahoma called me and told me about a method that he had discovered that seemed to help rewarm those very, very cold stressed baby calves that he found. And you know me, I had to go to the scientific literature and try to see if his method actually, pardon the pun, held water because what he was using was a warm water bath to rewarm those baby calves. Looking in scientific literature, the folks in Canada actually had done experiments where they took severely cold stressed baby calves and rewarmed them in three different methods. They put some of the calves in a thermal blanket in room temperature, something between 68 and 77 degrees. Some of the calves they put under an infrared heat lamp in order to warm them up a little bit more quickly. And then the third set were those that they put in a warm water bath. By warm water, I mean something about 100 degrees. Something that would be very comfortable for you and I to take a bath in. What they found was that the calves immersed in that warm water bath reached normal body temperature much quicker than did the calves warmed up in the, in the other methods. The difference was about a half of an hour. The calves that were rewarmed in, say, a thermal blanket or under a heat lamp, it took them an hour and a half to get back up to normal body temperature. The calves that were rewarmed in that warm water bath did so in right at one hour. Now, the importance of that is that those calves that were rewarmed more quickly then preserved some of the energy that it, uh, they were born with so that their other physiological functions could go ahead and operate normally. Those calves became more active, were more likely to go ahead and get up, want to nurse the teat of, of the mama cow when taken back out to the barn, and get the colostrum at an earlier time frame. And we've talked about how important that is. So this is a method that if you find a severely cold stressed calf, that you might consider it's going to take a, a wash tub or an old bathtub uh, filled with uh, enough warm water that you can immerse his body. Now obviously we want to keep his head out of the water because you don't want to drown the calf that you're trying to save and we're going to have to dry him off before we take him back out to the cold environment that we're trying to save him from so that he bonds with his mother as soon as possible. Certainly every calf that's born this winter doesn't need that warm water bath. But for those few that are really cold stressed, this is a method that you might consider. That means having uh, some access to a big wash tub or an old bathtub. You may want to look that up before the calving season begins. And speaking of before the calving season begins, I want you to tune in next week on the Cow Calf Corner here on SunUp as well, because we'll talk about putting together that calving kit that I think is so important to have ready before the calving season begins. We look forward to seeing you next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner. <music>